Welcome back. I hope that as you studied organizational communication in Unit 4, you were able to intake the theories and practices that help you understand your place in the work environment. You probably also recognize that concepts introduced in earlier units were reintroduced within the framework of our roles as members of an organization or company. Communication in organizations moves in many different directions, between managers and their employees, between employees, and between managers and company leaders. The interpersonal communications that we have in the workplace are a bit different than the ones we have with our family and friends. We think about disclosure differently in the workplace than we do with our friends. Power and culture affect our work relationships in different ways. Workplace communication is more structured and goal-oriented than casual conversations with family and friends. And conflict management tactics are important for creating productive work environments, whether you're the boss or the employee. You probably also noticed that more communication channels become available. Workers can be overwhelmed by communication strategies and messages, what we call information overload. While all this information is fresh in our memory, be sure to complete the unit assessment quiz before moving on to the last unit of this course. In Unit 5, we will look at the impact of mass communication and mass media on human communication. In Unit 5, we will review a number of theories that explain how we interact and are affected by mass media. We will also look at the ethical concerns regarding the nature of mass communication. Again, remember to take notes. Remember to consider the connections between each unit of this course. And we'll see you at the end of this unit and before the final exam. Good luck.